what do we have here we have a converse and soloist erx 2000 or something like that right is it 260 it's still in stock surprisingly weird um no nice shoe right so um this shoe came i think when it came out a couple of weeks ago, a couple of months ago maybe um i'm a big fan of it i didn't see any hype about it i don't know why this wasn't featured anywhere i'm not sure if this something was on the runway i haven't i haven't necessarily seen the runway uh, or a collection or presentation of soloists maybe since 2017 2008 16 there's really cool collection that i like they had this they had these amazing sort of like bulletproof um vest kind of like gun vest sort of thing that he did with these um chelsea boots that had the zip at the back right similar to like a goody is it goody goody that kind of brand i forgot that brand what its name it had a massive chunky um silver zip at the back really good collection but then i remember looking at three japanese sites and i've seen like you know some of the shoes only go up to 42 and shit it's just it's annoying because it's a real it's a it's a real japanese brand no there's some japanese brands that get bought by european by buy, european buyers or european stores and then they start, you know, changing their sizes and whatever it may be. Um, I don't think Soloist has been picked up by that many um, European retailers or North American retailers. So you're still getting that core Japanese sizing where, you know, an XL is probably a medium. The, the shoes don't go above a size 9. It's all fucking annoying shit. Um, I wish it did because I would love to wear most of the stuff. But if, for me, it's like a real, it's like, for me, it's like a more, um, a little bit more of a sinister Haida Aikerman. A little bit more edgy, right? It's like the brother, like they're two brothers. Hyde Aikerman's a kind of smooth, polished guy, and then soloist uh, Takeri Takahara Miyamoto, whatever you pronounce his name, um, is a little bit more of an edgy one, right? Miyashita, Miya Taki, 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 Ma oh, I don't even want to pronounce it. Anyway, um, this is the shoe. Converse soloist ERX2. I think Converse are kind of heading into the sneaker size of it because I know they've been doing a lot of collaborations. There's a new um, off white, no, so there's a new um, golf wang shoe coming out recently that I saw Tyler uh, promote on his Twitter. Uh, faux leather, a uh, faux croc sort of collection. Um, there's obviously the tons of other ones. There's ones that ASAP Nasty did that are fucking awesome. ASAP Nasty from um, ASAP Mob did a really good shoe. But I'm really a big fan of this one, actually, this Converse. Um, rx2 i'm not sure if they're gonna do more of these going forward i'm not sure if this is like a one-off or if this is something that they're just doing specifically for com for um the soloist but it looks fucking awesome and again i've not seen anyone talk about these online i'm not sure if there's something that i'm kind of missing out on or i'm sure other people have been speaking about it but i've not seen anyone talking about it and i think this is what this is this is my point that like, when it comes to like you know uh sneaker buying for the most part when it comes to sneaker heads in the industry it always kind of feels like to me for the most part they're all buying the same shit right there's not really any sort of ingenuity when it comes to sneakers people kind of go for things that don't really that a lot not a lot of people are buying or it's not really that hype but if i was a sneakerhead if i was really involved in the game these are things that i can be wanting to buy like this is something a little bit more interesting look at look how cool this looks it's got like a zip on the front it's got an ice clear sole it looks fucking great like this is something that would be way up my alley and again the size is it's not too bad actually they're still in stock got my size 130 quid with a massive sort of zip on the front of it i really like it i am um, there's something I'd, I'd, I'd honestly love it. Like, you'd love to get a pair. They're one of my favorite shoes I've seen as of late. Again, so I haven't seen anyone mention previously um, the words there, backwards underneath. But yeah, I'm a big fan of these. Um, I'm not sure if that's an actual original shoe. It must be an original retro that they just put down their own color, right? ERX 260. It looks really cool for me personally. I'm a big fan of it. Um, again, I love the zip on the front of it. It reminds me kind of like a Mastermind shoe. That's what Mastermind would probably end up doing. A leather with a bit of new buck, all black. You know, I'm a sucker for an all black sneaker. Anyone that knows me knows. I love all black shoes. I'm a kind of guy that wears all black Air Forces now, even though I don't, I'm not a fucking, you know, road goon or whatever it may be called. But yeah, I'm a big fan of these. They're available now on Dover Street Market. Check them out. A Converse Solo is ERX, ERX 260. Um, again, only £130. The only size out of stock is a size 8. Again, I'm surprised these shoes are still available. They're so nice, man. It'd be an easy way to kind of just get solo with stuff in your in your wardrobe and again i think they're wax laces too are they no they're not they're just regular red laces but yeah big fan of these look fucking awesome and i'm hoping converse do a lot more of these shoes going forward um um i think because again the one stars are great but again for someone like me with my massive fucking wide feet my feet are getting better now because i'm working out a lot and i'm working on kind of you know um developing the arch of my foot by working out in really flat trainers by running on the balls of my feet, by squatting with my feet pointed, but still, you know, my feet are wide. I can't really deny that sort of um, absolute fact. Um, but yeah, overall, um, Dover Street Market have all the nice goods there. Are these Junior Watanabe New Balances? Interesting. What do they do with these then? So there's a Junior Watanabe New Balances. Is there any sort of particular detail that they've added towards them or they just look standard New Balances? Okay. 
Hmm. They look quite nice though, isn't it, right? I'm going to put this up on the screen here. Yeah, these are Junior Watanabe, New Balances, 574s, 150 pounds. New Balances are always... I think New Balances have done a good thing with pricing, right? I think because... I looked at the other day, like Yeezys, right? Yeezy 700 is my my favorite. The V two, the V twos, they're like two fifty, aren't they? Retail, which is quite expensive for retail in terms of a, just a regular trainer to wear, right? Um, but I guess you know they're really well made. It's a particular, it's a particular range, the the Yeezy range. Um, they're not many of those made in general. You're buying into something, blah 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 blah. But I think New Balance has done a really good way, a really good thing in their pricing because it's always consistent, right? It's, it's very rare you can find a New Balance for under hundred pounds, isn't it? Or ninety quid or something. It doesn't really exist, I don't think, for the most part. Most New Balances are hundred quid plus, and you know you're more than happy to pay it because you know what you're going to get, right? You're getting you're getting your value for money for the most part. Um, and again, I think these look really good. I'm not sure what they. Junior Watanabe the sneakers, six eyelet, um, logo patch, tongue, logo patch. What? You take it off now. What's the? What is it? So is outer leather. I think. What is that? What kind of leather is that? That tumble looks really nice, actually. Off white sole laces. It's quite nice to be honest. I'm not gonna lie. They're they're quite nice. Um, there's eye on the back of it, so there's no obvious Junior Watanabe branding except for the thing on the back tab. Again, for you know, some people like those collaboration with like you know they scream what the branding is on the back of it. But I quite like what these look like. Actually, Junior Watanabe five seven four. They look quite nice, and they come in white too. Yeah, those really, they don't really exist. Even these shoes, you'd probably think they'd be. Uh, the New Balance C CT four hundred. You think they'd be under ninety quid because they look a bit more simple and they kind of a vulcanized sole, but yeah, they don't really exist. There is no such thing as an under one hundred quid um, New Balance. These all white ones are fucking nice, man. They're hard. Yeah, these all white ones are really really nice. But yeah, um, loads of nice sneakers on the whole Dover Street market. You feel to check out. Um, I haven't bought anything in Dover Street in a while, man. I can't. I w I can't wait for that sale to happen again. I think I'm gonna just save money. If they have one of those Comte Com de Garçon sales again, like some of the shirts I was able to buy, man, I still wear them to this day, man. The Comte de Garçon shirt, um, Comte de Garçon um, shirt, uh, home um, shirt stuff. It's just really, really nice. Some, some of the shirts, like I've, I, I can't believe I didn't buy more of the trousers and stuff and more of the jackets and trainers. Really, and I really actually regret. I had some plimsolls that I had from that collection that I regret giving away. But, you know, when you're in dire straits you have to kind of do what you got to do in that regard um what else do we talk about here let's have a look at the, the old hype of the beast see if i missed anything that i want to talk about before we jet off ba 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 hurry up i actually got some easy 700s coming in actually soon um i bought the brown ones um they should be coming in soon i think they're shipping actually next week this should be absolutely amazing um oh heron preston has got a 720 i want to see this this is cool so Heron Preston has got this is a live let's see live reaction live 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 reaction Heron Preston debuts uh, to debut a Nike S Max 720 95 oh okay he he he, he um, fused them together fucking yeah man this guy's going for it isn't it well done Heron Preston brother ooh I quite like that man that looks fucking gnarly isn't it I wonder if something and again I don't know how these collaborations work out I wonder if this is something that he did himself. Or if it was a model that Nike wanted to do and they asked Heron to design the colorway. Because I don't know, because sometimes they do that Nike nowadays, right? In order to introduce like a new shoe that's a bit more risque, something that they're not sure people are, are going to like, they'll tap a designer, they'll tap a brand in and kind of get them to put their stamp on it and then they'll introduce it to, to uh, the market. Um, the first thing I can think of is maybe the Nike React 87s. If my memory serves me correct, the first colorway we ever saw was the undercover versions, right? But then the first version that came out was a retail version, isn't it? I think it went that way. It went, it, it went the undercover version we saw on the runway and then the sale and the black colorways came out first. So it was kind of a way to kind of ease them into the kind of um, the current uh, retail cycle. But these look fucking hard. These look really nice. I wasn't a fan of the Fusions. I think, um, didn't Pat do one recently? They did like a Nike BW on the 95 Soul. I wasn't really a fan of that. But I like this 95 upper with the 720 Soul. Because the 720 Soul is fucking, for me, it's amazing. I love the massive bubble all over it. And all the, look, it's like five swishes all over it covered. And it's like, you know, the quintessential hair impression, safety orange colors. They look really fucking cool. What does it say in the description here? Um, um, hair impression says, um, get the chance to participate in the MX customization workshops during the Milan Design Fashion Week. Nike studio hosted by Antonelli. Register now on, on, on story or on here. Okay, awesome, man. Well done, dude, man. He's fucking smashing it, isn't it? Really, really good. It's really it's been a good kind of year or two for Harry Preston. But yeah, so you got here a, cut, a pink one that's probably going to come out and orange ones. They look really nice. Maybe the 95 altogether. I really like them, man. They look fucking awesome. 
I'm sure there might be some apparel too. He then and again, I think he did it in a good way. Instead of I think he mentioned the interview, instead of going straight for the shoe, he designed the what did he do? He made those, you know, oh, he, he kind of done those um DIY air forces with the kind of tabs on them with a the cellar tape. I think with the duct tape that he put he put out, and then he decided to put glasses out first. And then when he did the glasses, then he decided to put the shoes out, which kind of I think is again an interesting way of introducing your brand overall. I'm sure there'll be apparel tied into it. But again, this is the first look at these 729 95s. They look fucking awesome. I guess they're gonna be launched during a design fashion Milan Design Fashion Week, which again ties in nicely with Nike trying to kind of you know move or move in different sort of sectors. So just operating in a whole completely sneakerhead um convention way, maybe moving into the design world, and they look really heavily, heavily designed. I'm not sure what even, what even material that is. It looks fucking cool. I'm a big fan of them. I can't wait to see what they look like in person.